Rams. I'm Selena. And I'm Nathan. How's your homecoming, Selena? My homecoming was really great. I had dinner before the event with my friends, so I kind of just got to hang out and relax. What about you? Uh, I actually didn't go, but I had a lot of fun playing board games with my family. But I, however, I did go to the homecoming game. That was awesome. That sounds like fun. We hope you all had a great time with the homecoming festivities last weekend. Anyway, let's see what the weather's looking for this week. Good morning, Rams. I'm Maddie, and I'm here with the weekly Rem weather. A typical hurricane can jump six inches to a foot of rain across the region. Now it's time for our four-day weather forecast. Thursday is going to be rainy with a high of 47 and a low of 35. Friday is looking to be rainy with a high of 56 and a low of 41. Saturday will look rainy with a high of 51 and a low of 38. And finally, Sunday will be rainy with a high of 44 and a low of 37. That's all I have for you this week. Now back to you. Thanks, Maddie. For anyone who wasn't at the big homecoming game, listen up because we've got that info coming up right now. On to our sports updates with Sonia. Hey Rams, it's Sonia coming back with your weekly Silas Sports. Last week, our Rams volleyball team played against Spanaway Lake and winning their undefeated record with Anna Strom having 14 kills. They also played against Lincoln in one of the first four sets. The girls soccer team had their district game on Saturday against Kent Lake and took a close loss 1-0. The football team played this past week and fought against Bonnie Lake and took a close unfortunate loss. The Silas Boys water polo team finished their season this weekend, winning second place in the Auburn Spookfest tournament. They beat Auburn Riverside, Lakes, and Peninsula to make it to the final championship game versus Puyallup. Senior goalie Caden Gear had over 35 saves in goal to lead the team on defense. On, off on offense, sophomore Taylor Lemieux led the team in goals with nine goals in four games. Seniors Jordan Wright and Charlie Larson also contributed goals to make it to the championship game. That's it for this week. Now back to you. Thanks, Sonia. This week, we are bringing a new segment to the screen called Photo of the Week. Let's see what lies in store. Hey, Rams. I'm Nadia. I'm here with the Photo of the Week. This picture was taken at the Titlock Beach. As you can see, our narrow bridge in the background and is perfectly framed in the rule of thirds. Lightning at this time of the day really made the picture. Do you know the interesting fact about Nero's Bridge? On the evening of November 6, 1940, Daryl Petrot, a student at Pipe High School, sat down to do her homework for journalism class. The assignment she was to let her imagination run wild and write an essay that began, Just Suppose. The essay she wrote, that Roman Nero's Bridge collapses, turned out to be a shocking reality the very next day. Thank you for tuning into Fort of the Weed. Now back to you. Thanks, Nadia. What's up, Rams? Come on in. Coach Ferris here. Welcome to the Mountain. Hey, quick question. What are you doing in the winter? Don't answer that, because the answer is wrestling. So, if you want to be a wrestler, you should come on and join in. We have a meeting today, after school, 205, in the rankings here. Also, the season starts November 14th. If you want to be a wrestler, all is welcome. You get to enjoy the beautiful map room. So come join. Well, that's all we have for you this week. Until next time, great, great to, to be, be a Ram. Ram.